to the Look Fantastic YouTube channel. I am so excited to be here. Um, my name is Karis and I am currently 33 weeks pregnant. Baby girl is popping. Woo! I got a baby girl on the way and she is due April 3rd. Um, so yeah, I'm currently 33 weeks pregnant and I'm gonna be doing a sort of afternoon, evening, nighttime pregnancy routine. I say afternoon in, in my nighttime routine because it is getting earlier and earlier as the pregnancy goes on that my nighttime routine is starting. <laughs> Thank you for being here and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Look Fantastic's YouTube channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. Okay, let's get started. Where shall we start? Okay, for step one, we're gonna be taking off makeup. Now I've got my Revolution headband on. Honestly, this is just the softest material. If you are like me, I have very sensitive skin. I love all this kind of like silky softest things. I love the Revolution headband and I love the little sort of face cloths that they have. Um, we're gonna get a fresh one out of the bag for today's video. They're just silky soft. We're using the Elizabeth Arden uh, Visible Different Skin Balancing Exfoliating Cleanser. That's what we're using today. We're gonna head to the bathroom to take this makeup off. So I just wet the face cloth and I just kind of start to take off my makeup. Um, I'm not like a makeup beauty guru. I'm not, you know, gonna claim that I know what I'm doing. This is just my evening routine and I've always kind of never done too much fancy stuff with my skin. Feels very kind to the skin. Okay, so next I'm just gonna wet my face and then I'm gonna use the Elizabeth Arden uh, facial cleanser. It just feels silky soft and kind rather than like harsh and exfoliating, if you get me. So step two is tinting my eyebrows. Now obviously I don't do this as part of like my daily routine, but I do do it um, as like a staple whenever they need redoing because I just find it makes the biggest difference. And I've always used, I've never really used anything different for tinting my brows. I've always used Allure, I think that's how you say it, um, and the color dark brown. And I'll often just do the outsides just because I don't like the inside of my brow to be too, um, thick and defined so I'll just kind of like brush out with the dye which I'll show you now um, the edges. The instructions are super easy to follow which is what I like um, and you'd basically just follow follow the instructions. I won't give you a full tutorial um, to create like the mixture and then you just like pop it on the brow. Like I said, I don't go all the way to the front, so I just kind of leave the front a little wispy and I just go as far along as I want to find. So yeah, I just do both brows. Like I said, I don't work in the middle at all. And then it says to leave for five to 10 minutes. So I usually leave for like 10 minutes basically because I like them nice and dark, as dark as they can go. Okay, so it's been about nine minutes-ish, so by the time I finish rambling and actually take them off, it'll be about 10 minutes. You can see they've gone a lot darker. So you literally just wipe it off. I just feel like having tinted, defined brows makes such a difference to like, just being able to wear no makeup and kind of have, I just kind of do like moisturized face, brush out the brows, and then you feel a bit like put together. So yeah. That's my tinted brow. Part of the routine. What do we have next? Oh, shower. Okay, so next, sorry, turn off the water. I'm gonna jump in the shower. Um, the, sh the product, I have a bit of a routine at the moment of doing a shower, then a bath. So I'll have a shower to like wash myself down properly or wash my hair if needed, but I washed it yesterday, so it doesn't need washing today. Um, and then I'll have a bath after because I feel like a bath in pregnancy is just, I follow so many other pregnant people that say the same thing, like a bath is just so lovely. It relaxes your muscles, the baby kicks loads because I feel like you just feel really relaxed and it's just like an essential part of my day routine at the moment. But for my shower, I've got my other bottle of this. I've used it religiously just every day for so long. I love Eucerin, I love all their products for my eczema. I've got really dry skin, I do suffer with eczema. I've had eczema my whole life. 
and I love the use of my products. Um, so I'm gonna be using this as usual for my shower and then I'll show you my bath setup once I jump out of the shower. Okay, so I popped out of the shower and I'm just running the bath. These I absolutely love. I have a huge pack because I use so much. I just finished a smaller pack that I had um, of these type of Epsom salts. I've used these for ages because if you have dry or sensitive skin or eczema or anything and like a lot of bubble baths and things just don't work well with your skin, you literally just... I mean, this bag is so big and this is newly opened as well. So I don't know how, how easy this is going to be to pour, but you just, oh my gosh, that's literally it. I just pour a little tiny bit in like that, like a cup full, they say. Um, and those are just amazing. And you just kind of like stir them around in your bath. Now in this, I have this, which I am trying for the first time in this video. Um, so I'll let you know how well it works with my sensitive skin and my eczema and everything. Um, but my skin's been quite good lately with baths and... I should probably turn the bath off. Yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with this. But my skin's been pretty good lately with um, sort of bath products and everything like that. But that's what the bubbles are from in this. I just loved the whole idea of it. It said that it was designed for mums to be so pregnant people like myself. Okay, so I'm in the bath. Firstly... This smells amazing. The bubbles just make everything so calm and relaxing. Um, I'm gonna do a lip mask. I found lip masks like maybe last year and I kind of just got obsessed with them. Um, I just I feel like the bath is like the perfect place to do them as well because you've got that spare, because like a lot of them stay on for 15 to 20 minutes and you've got that spare time when you get into the bath. Um, and I try to do, I'm just taking off the protective layer. I'm gonna put this on now and then I'm not gonna try and speak because I'll get it in my mouth. Okay, so I'm out of the bath, feeling very relaxed. <laughs> this is literally my daily occurrence of just having a bath to just whoo, calm myself down. Um, and just chill out for the evening. Okay, so next I moisturize my face. Like I said, I do have eczema um, and I use Eucerin products a lot. I love them for my skin. Um, and I just put, I mean, I have loads of different face like moisturizing products, but it just depends. I kind of like mix them up depending on how I'm feeling, but oh, I just love the Eucerin products. They go on so easy. If I'm feeling like I want to feel a little bit zhuzhy and a little bit put together, obviously I have my new tinted brows. The moisturizer helps with the glow and then I will go with a tinted lip. Um, these are my two favorite from Burt's Bees. The names are, I've not actually looked at the names. The names are Hibiscus and Xena. I just love a lip balm with a little bit of lip tint to it. Okay, for the next step, we're going to be doing stretch mark moisturization on the pregnant belly. Um, I know that Look Fantastic also sell loads of the Mamma Mia, I think that's what their name is, Mamma Mia products. Um, and I love their products as well. I've got loads of different things that I use for stretch mark oil, to be honest, and just like general, like moisturization. I don't know why it's really strange, but when you get, I'm just rubbing the oil in and just rubbing it on my belly. I'm not really someone that, not that I don't care about stretch marks, but I, I quite like like stretch marks. I'm not really like, oh, I don't want to get any stretch marks. I think they look like nice. I like them. I like a stretch mark on the legs and belly. And I don't know, I feel like it just shows growth and it's just a part of your journey. So I hope that any of you watching, um, if you have stretch marks or if you are getting stretch marks from pregnancy, I hope you know that they're freaking beautiful. They're gorgeous. They are a part of you and a part of your journey and they tell a story, whatever story that is. Um, and yeah, even though I haven't really gained many on my belly at all, um, I did neglect, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I neglected my inner thighs um, for quite a while. As in like, I just wasn't, I didn't really think about putting moisturization or oil on them. Quite a lot of new stretch marks on my back as well. I think you can see them by there. So skin in general is stretching and growing and um, I've also had stretch marks in the past from weight gain, just general weight gain. You can get stretch marks from building muscle. I've had them in the past. You can get stretch marks from so many things. And like I said, they tell a story. So they're part of you and they're awesome, but they can be actually pretty itchy and pretty uncomfortable. So I have taken to 
taking my moisturization and my oiling of the body seriously um, towards the end of my pregnancy. So yeah, I recommend just using something just to keep your skin elasticated and you really just don't want that horrible itching stretch mark feeling, um, which is the worst part of it, 100%. So yeah, absolutely love that, which is that one there. And then also, I thought I'd show you this. I haven't actually started using this yet, but this is the Perineum, is that who you say it? Perineum Massage Oil. It says on the back of the bottle to use from week 34, so I'm gonna be using it in a couple of weeks. The Perineum is a very common place to have a tear or a rip when you're giving birth. And basically just using an oil, and I haven't obviously used this one yet, so I can't say how good it is, but obviously it's a specific perineum massage oil and it's by the company Welder, so I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Um, but I will be using that kind of 34 weeks to massage the perineum and try and get things flexible and the skin elasticated um, and just, yeah, giving myself the best chance of having the most positive birth, which is obviously what everyone wants really, isn't it? And the last thing, in my sort of nightly evening routine is when I go to bed, I use a pillow spray. I love to just create a spa, zen-like atmosphere in the bedroom. Um, me and my husband have absolutely loved pillow sprays or just like aromatic spa sprays and the deep pillow spray by This Works is amazing. It smells... <laughs> I sniffed too much in. It seriously just smells of a spa. If you've ever been to like a luxury spa, this is what it smells like. They've nailed that smell a hundred times over. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love it. I bought this for my mum years ago um, because she struggles to sleep. And ever since I've just been obsessed with filler sprays that smell like spa because they just send you off to sleep peacefully. And they're such a good like end to your day and start to your good night's sleep, which is just so important for the day to come. That is everything. And now I'm ready to, well, obviously once I spray my pillow rather than in my general nose direction, um, toddle off to bed and have a really good night's sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed my afternoon, evening, nighttime routine at 33 weeks pregnant. Um, I wanna send love to anyone, whether you're pregnant, whether you're not pregnant, however you're finding this time, um, this lockdown, this pandemic, it's been really challenging. And I think whether you're pregnant or not, it is amazing to have little things in an evening or nighttime routine that you look forward to and that help you to relax and just process your day however it's gone. Um, because we all have ups and downs during this time and things can be just a roller coaster of emotions. So taking those steps to take care of ourselves each evening and just having a bit of us time is really important and I would honestly promote it to anyone. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning of the channel, the channel, <laughs> beginning of the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the Look Fantastic channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss another video. I would love to read um, some comments from you guys below as well and yeah just thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i hope you enjoyed bye guys Mwah.